a warm steak salad with a blue cheese dressing is absolutely delicious. You get the wonderful, gorgeous grass-fed beef, which I'm gonna show you how to cook, a lovely blue cheese dressing, and I'm gonna show you a lot of different little tips. We're gonna marinate some tomatoes with a little bit of lemon zest and oil and vinegar, and then we're gonna make some um, crispy lardons, which I'll explain in a moment, and some croutons. So it's actually very, very simple. So we'll talk about, first of all, the steak. I need to heat my pan. So I'm using the strip loin, which is one of my favorite cuts of steak. You can use ribeye, you can use um, sirloin if you want to, and you can use fillet. So this is the strip loin here. Nice marble and a fat, can you see that? Don't be afraid of that, that keeps it really moist. This is dry matured, okay, for 28 days. And then we are looking at this mark here, the poor beer quality mark. So that's really, really important. Good beef, what gives our Irish beef? It's great flavor, is the grass, it really is. You know, we're very lucky, our farmers work so hard, so we need to support them. You know, whether it's using our lovely dairy, our lovely beef, our meat, that's really, really important. Okay, um, a few little tips here. What I've done is, uh, so Mello, what I've done is just use some rapeseed oil, drizzle that over the steak, a um, couple of um, cloves of garlic and some fresh thyme. Rosemary you can use, I like thyme. So there's a key, key couple of tips. I'm gonna use this oil first of all, so we don't waste. You know me being from Calvin, we don't like waste. Uh, I'm gonna use this in the pan in a moment, but I'm going to bring the, uh, the steak is taken out of the fridge for about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna scrape off all the herbs for now. And then we're gonna season them with some sea salt and then some black pepper. So you season just before it goes onto the pan. If I season and leave that now for half an hour, it'll dry out your steak. So that's really, really important. So I'm gonna cook this nice and pink. I'm gonna use, as I say, this oil here. Get it nice and hot. Put it seasoned side down. It'll skite. Don't worry about that. And I'm actually gonna put the garlic in too. Now, get that wee piece there. So, two cloves of garlic. I, I, did, I kept the skin on, it doesn't really matter. We'll put the thyme on in a minute. I'm gonna season up the other side. And then some black pepper. So even on a barbecue, that's a very simple marinade for any kind of steak or meat. Rapeseed oil, this is some dairy caramel, can't be loud. It's Irish produced, I like it. You get a really nice high smoke temperature. When I cook a steak, what I like to do is add butter. So I'm gonna put in one piece of butter into the pan. And in then to the pan, we're gonna put in these lovely lardons. So this is the whiskey smoked dry cure rashers. I love these. I love these just simply grilled um, for breakfast in a bacon sandwich. Just gorgeous, so it is. So again, the board be a quality mark, but I've cut it into lardons. So if you can see the little strip, see that there, Mella? The small little strips of that's what it's a, it's a fancy name for lardons. Now this steak isn't going to take long to cook, so we're going to use the same pan. So I'm using my nice big pan here for this. I could do the lardons on another pan, but sure, why would you do that? You're going to dirty two pans. Okay, I'm going to get the lovely fresh thyme, and then I'll just hold it here, scrape all that lovely oil, and that's going to go then into the pan. So we're cooking away. A little bit of butter, I might add a bit more, you know me. Um, don't worry if the garlic, because it can burn very, very easily. If you keep the skin on it, it'll kind of protect it. Let's have a little look at the semella. Just look at the steak. So it's beginning to caramelize, okay? So I'm gonna give it another minute. Keep moving around the lardons. I want to have them nice and crispy. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I picked a nice big pan. Keeping the pan nice and high, that's the key for this. It's not a huge piece of strip loin, so it's gonna cook very, very fast. Okay, tomatoes. These are lovely cherry tomatoes, and these can be grown in Ireland, and they are grown in Ireland, which is gorgeous. We're gonna put in some extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna put in a tiny little bit of balsamic. And this recipe on its own is delicious in a salad with goat's cheese, it really works well, lemon. And this great little zester here, we're just gonna grate the lemon. And I think lemon and tomatoes work really well. Another herb that works well is basil. 
So I just grab my little plant. I'm gonna get this and I'm just gonna literally just kind of cut this really, really fine. So I'm keeping my eye just on the pan. And then this is gonna go over your tomatoes. Now, if you can, do this an hour before you're going to use this. Oh, salt, a little bit of sea salt. So that's it there, that's your tomatoes. They're lovely, the lovely cherry tomatoes, full of flavor, you're getting all the flavor in there. Okay, let's flip over a steak. Now, so the guards over to the side, the time you can hear crackling, that lovely smoky bacon. I mean, it does the smoky bacon make everything taste delicious. And even if you just wanted to do a salad with some crispy smoky bacon like I'm doing, the tomatoes, some croutons, I'm gonna to talk to you about that. And uh, then the blue cheese is gorgeous with it. Okay, when we're cooking a steak, we wanna cook this nice and pink. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a good tip. So if you look here nice and closely, that's lovely and soft, so that's rare. Your next finger, soft, but not as soft as your first finger, that's medium. Your next finger is medium well, and then your last finger is well done. It firms up. Meat is a muscle. So I don't wanna overcook this. I'm gonna give this another minute or thereabouts because it's not a huge thick piece of strip loin. I'm gonna have some tin foil to let it just uh, relax and rest. And I'm just gonna move those lovely lard on the bacon. Yeah, it's cooking up really nice. I'm happy with that. Oh, I want to show you also what basting means. So I'm gonna get a spoon. So now if we go in here, what basting means is all these beautiful juices go over your steak. Same for chicken breast, pork chops, lamb chops, whatever. And actually that marinade will work really, really well. So I'm gonna give that another minute. So that's the garlic there. I'll move that over to the side. I won't be serving that. You're just getting extracting the flavor. Obviously, if you don't like garlic, you can leave that out. So this is more or less done, this steak. Now, resting, I want to explain. I'll, I'll just show you, Melda, sorry. Just press the steak, it feels nice and soft. I don't want it to be too rare, or I don't want it to be overcooked. So you press the center of the steak there, and then we're gonna let it rest. So if I slice that straight away now, what's gonna happen is that all the juices are gonna run out. Really, I should leave that for about maybe eight to nine, 10 minutes, but I, I won't have time for that just for the video. So the lardons there, you will look there, Melda, they look great. Nice and crispy. I'm gonna switch that off. So they're gonna be absolutely delicious. Okay, tomatoes done. Now, we're gonna make our little dressing. So this is some uh, balsamic vinegar and then we have some extra virgin olive oil. So just using my large spoon, we're gonna put in two of the vinegar, and this can be made ahead. And then one of the balsamic. Listen, I love balsamic, it's one of my favorite vinegars. You know, I got to meet this producer in Modena, and um, in Italy they just really value tradition, and it's such a beautiful vinegar, it really is. You could use sherry vinegar, which I think sometimes is really gorgeous uh, with lentils and that. A little bit of flatly parsley. I'm gonna show you how to chop that. A little touch of lemon zest. Why not use it? And then we're going to chop this and then our blue cheese. So just roll this all up here. The pan is off. I'm not gonna cut it too, um, I'm not gonna cut it too small. Rock it over and back. See the technique. This is my large chef's knife, okay? So this is part of my cookery collection, my cookware. And this goes into our little dressing there, Melda. So black pepper. I'm not going to put salt in. I'll tell you why. Because this blue cheese that I'm going to show you, crozier blue. So we all know cashew blue, which is one of the most iconic, famous blue cheeses in the world. So this is made in Tipperary, and it's absolutely fantastic. So um, I got down to meet the family, the Grubb family. They're just so passionate. So this is made with sheep's milk and it's a really lovely one. And this would be a cheese that we would have on our cheese board in McNean House. So you can use, of course, the Cashel Blue, whichever you like. Um, I do like blue cheese and I've got to like it even more, to be honest with you. So this is what it looks like here, Mella. So it's nice and ripe 
and delicious. Before I add it into my dressing, I'm just going to whisk this, combine this. If you want to, you can throw this all into um, a Nutribullet. You can hand blend it, and then you can just literally kind of like blend in your cheese. So that's the blue cheese there. So I'm gonna crumble this in here. And if you weren't all looking, I'd have that in my mouth as quick as you could <laughs> count to two. So just crumble that in there. So this will give the lovely saltiness. This salad is all about great steak, really nice smoky bacon, delicious cheese. And then we're gonna talk about our croutons and the tomatoes. So that should be more than enough. So cover that in cling film, keep that in your fridge. And that is lovely in a sauce. I'm just gonna wash my hands. Uh, the sauce, everyone, is really, really nice with some um, steak. So if you're doing so, a nice uh, sauce with blue cheese. Okay, croutons, I had some leftover giabatta bread. So what I did was in the oven, drizzle them with a little bit of rapeseed oil, a touch of salt, and they're really crispy. So they are, I baked them off at about 160, done them yesterday, and they will keep in an airtight container, and uh, they took about maybe 10, 15 minutes. So you could keep them in a container like this. Just a little Tupperware, something like that is perfect. So there are your croutons, this is where the crunch of the salad is gonna come through. So we're nearly ready to serve up. So it's a great way of using, if you've left over, any kind of bread can be done. You don't have to use giabatta. You know, it works really, really well. Okay, let me just give this a little stir. So this is our dressing here. So we have the blue cheese. I could have blended it. I could have made a really smooth kind of a dressing, but the vinegar, the blue cheese, and that lovely oil, and a little bit of parsley. Parsley isn't essential, but I think it works really, really well. Okay, we're gonna get our steak. We're gonna bring this all over. And then if you look at this in the middle here, we have a little bit of juice. So I'm just gonna put that into my dressing. We're not gonna waste it. And when you're cutting the steak, because this isn't a, a very thick piece, okay, I'm just gonna use this knife here. It's one of my carving knives. So we're gonna remove this little bit here, and then we're gonna cut it into little lengths. So I'm gonna show you now. It should be pink. I'd even like it a little bit pinker than this, but resting is key. I can't emphasize that enough. I love those bits, see those there? Oh my God, I'd be chewing away at them. So that's what we're looking for. Look at them, lovely, moist, succulent. Just leave that there just on your little bit of kitchen paper. Okay, we're gonna serve this up. So we have some lovely salad leaves, which I'll just wipe this here. So wash your salad, keep it covered in some tissue paper. We're gonna get our tomatoes, and then we're gonna arrange this then, okay, just like this. Now, and then our smoky bacon, I'll use the same spoon actually, coming straight from the pan, so this is the kind of warm element too. Just a little bit of the garlic skin. Yo, look how crispy that is, perfect. Them are delicious steak. So arrange that and always kind of dress your salad at the last minute. Yum. Croutons, texture, flavor, that's what we want. You can hear that nice crunch there. So this should be really, really tasty. And then that beautiful blue cheese dressing. And you just dress at the last minute. So we use the strip loin. You could use ribeye. You could use any of the other kind of cuts, fillets, rump, anything like that, sirloin but I like this strip line. And that's our blue cheese. So you dress, serve straight away, away you go. Try this recipe. This would work really well actually with chicken. I should have said that. And that is my warm steak salad with blue cheese dressing, marinated tomatoes, crunchy croutons, and some smoked bacon. Happy cooking everyone. And the recipe for this will be on the McNeen Facebook page. So enjoy this. Thanks a million.